Hi guys, Toby here for TP23 Productions. Now, got a DVD review and uh, it's the first in the animated series of the Resident Evil franchise. Now, this Resident Evil film is called Resident Evil Degeneration. Now, the film starts out with Claire Redfield at an airport. Uh, she's waiting for a friend uh, getting back from uh, a holiday. You don't really know. You don't. It doesn't really matter. But, friend's coming in. There's a little girl with her keeping her company and all that. There happens to be a mayor who's a bit of a jerk off. He's stuck in, uh, in the airport and he can't get out. And uh, somebody gets wind of this and he decide to go and terrorise him with a zombie mask on because it was kind of his fault about the Raccoon City outbreak. He's fighting against it. Uh, the guy's a bit of a dick, really. He's also a part of Will Farmer, who I'll get on to later. But then, as the story progresses in the early stages, a plane carrying one member of uh, its passengers is not very well. He just happens to be infected with a T-virus and travelling from destination A to destination B, the plane crashes into the airport, screwing up Claire Redfield's day. This is where a special unit team comes in. They are there just to rescue the mayor, to track him down in the airport, find him and get him out safe. Pretty much that's about it. Claire Redfield, as Resident Evil fans may know, is one of the survivors from Raccoon City. Along with Leon S. Kennedy, who they were together in the 1998 game Resident Evil 2. So this is pretty cool. It's the first time they've been on the same scene really uh, together which is pretty cool you know can't go wrong uh, he's bringing back old memories of uh, of the game bringing it up to date pretty cool leon just happens to be part of the special unit as well he's you know the specialist he knows all about it he knows to shoot him in the brain rather than you know just shoot him in the leg and all that sort of stuff so he knows what he's talking about when it comes to the zombies and yeah, that's why they brought him in. So that's kind of the introduction to the characters of uh, Degeneration. Will Farmer is a company who who are almost like uh, Umbrella. They are a company that have created a virus called the G-Virus. Now this G-Virus is meant to be helpful just like the T-Virus was. However the G-Virus, it kind of has the same side effects as the T-Virus. However we do not see it fully working in many different subjects. It's just one subject. However, it does have a massive side effect to him. There is a part of the story that gets a bit confusing. A character called Curtis is meant to be a terrorist. However, it looks like he got framed for it. That part did get a bit confusing. There was a whole thing of he gets framed for a terrorist attack. But then he goes back to a house and he burns it down. His sister happens to be a member of the special reinforcement team that comes in to shoot all the zombies it, it does get a bit confusing and then at one point Curtis is inside the Will Farmer HQ um, I mean that place is massive as well there, there seems to be thousands of stories high and then it's below you know it's it's a massive sort of place Curtis happens to be the person or the subject that is exposed to the G virus I mean that has huge consequences as well like I've said, it is very deep, the uh, Will Farmer HQ. Um, this is where the attack of Curtis comes into effect. He's, he's kind of pissed off that he's been named as a terrorist to whoever. So now he goes on to Will Farmer. He's kind of like a Greenpeace sort of guy. He's, you know, peace and love and all that harmony. So instead of him being a terrorist, he's actually a good guy, but... That part, like I say, it does get confusing. It's you want all the other, and then you're either attacking or you're not. But then he's a hypocrite to himself because then he attacks Will Farmer. Bit confusing. But the story, it, it's all right. It's not a bad story. It's all about how there's a new G virus, which is kind of like the T virus. There's an attack. There's zombies. The zombies aren't all weird mouth sort of how they are in the past two Resident Evil films and how they are in the games. It's cool because it's a feature length animated film it's animated not one bit is you know real life it's all animated there's no acting you know real person sort of thing it was made in japan so it is dubbed for an english audience uh, but it's still good to see it's side by side of what happened in raccoon city seven years ago pretty good the storyline does get a bit confusing the whole will farmer attack terrorist uh, curtis and then he's a brother to someone who just happens to be in a special forces unit 
killing all the zombies. That bit does get a bit confusing, but it's pretty cool. Can't complain. I'm a fan of Resident Evil. It was good to watch a feature length animated film. But uh, yeah, can't rec recommend it enough. If you find it for a couple of quid, definitely worth checking out. Especially worth getting if you are a Resident Evil fan, if you're a Claire Redfield fan or a Leon S. Kennedy fan. Uh, it's pretty cool because these guys are back on the scene together for the first time uh, since the game Resident Evil 2. Thanks for watching my pretty quick-ish review of Resident Evil Degeneration. Hope you like it. Thanks for watching. Also, we the voted. Links down below. As per usual, go check them out. If you want to save some money, use TobyWTD. It gets you 20% off any We The Devoted items you decide to buy. But guys, thanks for watching my review of Resident Evil Degeneration. Hope you enjoy it. Thanks for watching.